This is Hannah Rubenstahl of Cat Scrappiness. Today I'm going to walk you through doing a bunny spinner card. This is a bunny that spins inside of another bunny. We are going to be using the Stitched Easter Bunny Outline Die Set from Cat Scrappiness, as well as her Wonky Wavy Stitched Rectangle Die, and the new Punny Snacks Stamp Set. And before we get any further, I'd like to apologize. I am getting over a bit of an illness from the last week. But if you bear with me, we'll make it short and sweet. So to start with, I'm going to remove the two bunnies from their wrapper, and I am going to use some Distress inks and Distress Oxides to color some white paper, one section white, or excuse me, one section pink and one section yellow because I want a pink base for my card and a yellow bunny that spins in the center. Here you can see I am using squeezed lemon and uh, squeezed lemon distress oxide and mustard seed distress ink for the bunny. For the pink panel, I am going to be using primarily Spun Sugar Distress Ink and Warm Worn Lipstick Distress Oxide to lightly pink up my white base panel. Now that I have my pink panel um, looking how I want it to look, I am taking the largest of the wonky wavy stitched rectangle dies and I am die cutting it down. This cuts slightly smaller than an A2 sized card and it's really important that I start with this step first because everything is going to hinge around centering everything inside this die cut. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to die cut that through my die cutting machine, and then I'm going to take a piece of gridded acetate and line up the bunny, um, the largest bunny that is, inside there. I apologize, my acetate has been printed over and is a mess. I couldn't find a clean piece at the time. Um, I am just using it though as a guide to try to make sure that my bunny is vertically and horizontally positioned in a pleasing and center-ish fashion. And then I'm going to run that through my die cutting machine as well. Now I'm taking some of the funny emoji faces from the Punny Snacks stamp set and I am stamping those faces onto the little yellow bunnies. I chose to do two separate faces. Uh, they're similar. They're both wearing glasses but I thought it would be cute if they were different faces. And then after I stamp those, I'm actually going to flip the bunnies around and color the back sides yellow because they're not perfectly symmetrical. And when I tape them together, you're going to see the back side ever so slightly of them. Okay, we're going to set the bunnies aside temporarily and I need to start building my card panel. I have here a piece of eight and a half by four and a quarter paper, Nina Solar White in 110 pounds. I'm scoring that in the center so that it can be an A2 sized card. And I am going to line up my pink panel, the pink die cut panel 
over it so it is even all the way around and I am going to trace the bunny outline out. And you're gonna see why here. I'm making an opening for the spinner on it. I could have stuck the bunny die on top. However, I wouldn't have guaranteed that I would have gotten a perfect fit. So this guarantees that everything lays out super perfectly. It takes a little bit of extra time to cut out that bunny, but it is very much well worth it. After the bunny is cut out, the inside of the card, the edge is going to be a bit rough. So I'm actually going to take my sand eraser and sand that down quite a bit so that it provides a nice smooth surface when the recipient opens the card. You'll notice that I had also stamped the You're Too Sweet sentiment from the Punny Snacks stamp set. I thought it worked really well with these cute little bunnies. And now I am taking some white sewing machine thread and I am taping it to the inside of one of my bunnies using some score tape. The score tape will keep that sewing machine thread where I want it and it will also help adhere both of the bunnies to each other. So this takes a little bit of patience but it goes by pretty quickly and I will be sandwiching the other bunny here very shortly. And now I am taping that string to the front side of my card panel, right along the top and the bottom of the bunny. And I'm actually gonna leave one of the strings long here. And the reason why is when I first made my prototypes, my inside bunny kept hitting the outside bunny, the bigger bunny. And I used the string to help shift it a little bit. In the end, I didn't need it for this card. But it, that's why I had left it long and when I realized I had placed it well and I didn't need it when everything was all said and done, I just snuck in between my card panels and I trimmed that down. I'm going to go ahead and stick a whole bunch of score tape all over the back side of my pink panel so that I can adhere it right on top of this. I want to go as close to the outline of that bunny as I can so that I don't have any gaps popping up.
finished card. I think it's super sweet. And I'd like to thank you for walking along this journey with me and watching me make this card. <laughs>